Ben faces inverse demand P equals 12 minus 0.15 Q for his bagels. If Ben's marginal cost per bagel is constant at $1.59, what quantity maximizes profits? So we're looking for Q star. Again, P equals 12 minus 0.15 Q, and marginal cost equals 1.59. To maximize profit, we're going to set marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. This is the exact same thing as taking the derivative of the profit function and setting it equal to zero. Let's see how. Profit is equal to total revenue minus total cost. When we take the derivative of that, total revenue becomes marginal revenue, total cost becomes marginal cost, and we set the pr that derivative equal to zero. So it'll be zero equals mar marginal revenue minus marginal cost, which is the same thing as setting them equal. Total revenue, remember, is price times quantity, and total cost is fixed cost plus marginal cost times quantity. In this question, they don't say anything about fixed cost, so we're just going to be worried about the marginal cost. Profit, therefore, is 12 minus 0.15Q, which is price, times quantity, minus 1.59Q. So we can do a little algebra here. In the future, we won't, we won't distribute this Q out, but I want to show you how we get to the derivative. So for now, let's just distribute that Q through to get 12Q minus 0.15Q squared minus 1.59Q. We take the derivative of this, and we get 12 minus 0.3Q minus 1.59Q equals zero. Now notice the trick. The 12 minus 0.15q times q, all we do is double the slope there, and we get 12 because the q distributes through and it drops in the derivative, and the 0.15q squared is just like doubling 0.15 to get 0.3q. So from here, we can do a little algebra. 10.41 minus 0.3q equals zero. Add 0.3q to each side divide through by 0.3 and solve for Q is equal to 34.7. So now that we've solved for Q, we can easily solve for price. Now they don't, in this question they only ask us to solve for Q, so we're done. But to know, know to solve for price, we just plug in our Q star into inverse demand, which in this case is P equals 12 minus 0.15 Q. Plugging in that 34.7, we see that our optimal price would be 6.795.